And what I use sometimes in difficult cases is dental mirrors to retract even the buccal segment. So this is how I do it. I have the retractor now in this case only on one side and the dental mirror, the buccal mirror on the other. And I'm retracting the cheek at the same time, creating a reflection of the arts I'm trying to photograph. And I come on the appropriate side and record the image via the mirror. Okay. The one thing you have to be careful when you're using buccal mirrors is that you shouldn't have any smudges or interferences on the mirror, as you can see here on this one. If you do see that, please wipe it down because any imperfections or smudges or lines in the mirror, it's going to show up in your final picture. Okay. So either you do that beforehand and you let the mirror dry on its own, or if you have to do it at the same time, uh, chair side, then make sure you grab some type of a wipe and you clean the mirror so that at the end you have a surface that's streak free. Now that our mirror is spotless, we're going to put a retractor on the other side. In this case, we don't have to retract on the passive side. We let the buccal mirror retract on the what I call active side, where I'm going to get the picture. And again, I advocate that the person who has the camera controls the mirror. Why? Because now you can control the angle and make sure you get a perpendicular image to the side you want to see. Be careful with buccal mirrors and do not rest them in the bone because that's going to hurt. So you want to retract the cheek but not necessarily rest the mirror in the bone. Okay? And you can see this first attempt we took. I have my fingers on the mirror. So we're going to slow down and see that a little careful. This time then I am going to retake my picture, pull my finger further back. Again, I'm retracting with the buccal mirror, but I'm not resting the mirror on the bone. Because if you do that, it may hurt the patient, right at the um, mandibular ramus as it goes up. Okay, here's the second picture, perpendicular to the mirror, so you can get a true view of that side. Uh, the occlusion and I'm gonna slow it down and see how beautiful the image is recorded from the mirror. This is the way to get excellent consistent pictures all the time.